Hello, Jim. Welcome. How you doing? How you doing, Drill Sergeant Joe? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's, I'll uh, make it quick. Um, okay, yeah. Tell us your your name, and um, I mean, just Jim is fine. And uh, what which company scammed you, and by how much? And then, yeah, tell your story. Okay, so about four. My name is Jim. Uh, this is my story. Um, thank you for all letting me have the opportunity, by the way. And um, so I, about four years ago, I determined that I was going to find my wife in Ukraine and uh, didn't know what I was doing. I decided to sign up on a site. The name of the site was Charm Date. And um, uh, very quickly, I <clears throat> met a lady who seemed very sincere. She was very, very good at what she was doing. And um, we chatted for probably a year. And uh, I started to realize it was going to rack up to be some as it as it turned out, it was about four thousand, four or five thousand dollars. But I realized it was going to start to become a lot of a lot of money. So I I told her I said, I want to send you my email, and we can talk, we can video, we can do a lot of things uh, outside the site. And of course, she said, Well, you know, you can't send your email on the site. And I said, If I can figure out a way to do it, would you agree to that? And she said yes. So I did, and I don't think she was ready for that. Um, Prior to me getting my uh, email to her, uh, she said, I'll give you all my contact info. And uh, when she responded to uh, send a letter to me on the email, uh, she told me that uh, the Russians were controlling the eastern part of Ukraine, which I think to an extent was true. So there was no uh, international mail and they had a control on the Internet as well. That was the beginning of me trying to determine whether it was uh, sincere or not. Anyway, make a long story short, it turned out not to be. Uh, through the email, she uh, she talked me into sending about three hundred dollars for some boots, and um, you know I was blinded, of course. And however, I was learning very quickly, and um, so I decided that this was not the real thing because she was not using the email very much. And even when I sent an email to her, she would go back to the site to respond. And so it was really clear to me that she was getting some sort of compensation, uh, whatever it was. And, and that's what I told her. And when I, when she got that email, she said, Oh, I see you're blaming me for everything. And immediately did everything that I've seen on your video, your uh, scam videos um, that, that they, that a scammer would do. So I stopped going to that site and I decided, okay, that charm date, by the way, is out of Hong Kong. So I just it have no recourse. So I decided to find an American based company that uh, at least you could have what you thought would be uh, some sort of uh, guarantee or some sort of feeling that they were actually, you know, what they were saying they were. So I started with loveme.com, which is owned by AFA. Uh, AFA's headquarters is in Phoenix, and every time you call them, very nice people. They all sound like they're going by their uh, operations. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, however, the the lady that I started to, uh, and also I decided to talk to other ladies as well, um, just to kind of make sure I was, you know, not just getting bamboozled by one. And so... Um, I started to communicate with this one lady and everything seemed to be exactly the way it should be until I started to see that her letters started to get shorter. Uh, she wasn't answering a lot of the important questions that I, I felt they were important anyway. And um, I started to get that impression that, you know, here we go once again. Uh, but I couldn't really pin it down because they're very subtle about how they do everything. And that when I say they, I'm talking about... Um, AFA. And so again, I started to look around and that's when I found um, a match guarantee. Um, what drew me to match was your introductory video, uh, your, your sincerity, Joe. What locked me in was Tat uh, Tatiana's uh, willingness to go and uh, be on a, a lie detector or take a lie detector test, which is I'm sure they're fallible, but this, this one looked way too sincere for me to say, okay, this isn't a real site. It, it, this is the real thing. So I started to look at the videos that you had available on scamming and so forth. And I started to realize 
um, that, um, you know, I'm in trouble here again. So I did some research. I started to do some maybe like minor hacking or whatever and discovered that my profile, including all my pictures, um, the including the letters that I had sent and the ladies that responded were on 18 other sites owned by AFA. And I know they're owned by AFA because I went on those sites and I was able to put in my username and my password on these different sites. <laughs> my profile came up. Now I never agreed to go on to any of those sites. I never signed up personally on any of those sites other than love me. That's the only one that I was actually on. And so all the other sites templated from love me to the sites they were. Um, would you like me to read those real quick or is that, would that take too much time? I, I can't hear you. Ah, sorry, Jim. Read what? Read what? Would you like me to read the, the sites real quick? Read the site? Yeah, there's the, the 18 sites that I'm on. Uh, ah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, so it's, uh, it. and, and again, these are all um, AFA sites. Uh, it's Foreign Bride Guide, Russian Bride Guide, AFA, of course, Love Me, Ukraine Ladies, City of, City of Brides, uh, One Girl for Me, Ukraine Singles, Russian Dolls, Euro Contract, Foreign Bride, Blonde Russian Women, A New Bride, Bangkok Women, Pre uh, Pretty Women, Shenzhen Women, Russian Pride, Russian Brides Online, and then Kiev Personals. Again, I never signed up on any of those except love, loveme.com. So I began to wonder, okay, why this, you know, there's no obvious scam here, but why would they have that? Why would they do that? And I started to think about one lady being on one of those sites, um, answering all of the questions to all of those other sites because that if, if, if it's true that they're taking mine and making the template, then they're doing that with the ladies as well. And so in my personal opinion, I believe that it's not the ladies obviously that are answering those questions. It's the agencies in those cities that are answering the, the, the uh, letters. And uh, I'm glad to say that um, I will be, you know, re, uh, taking that site or that profile down because I've had a really great experience with with Match Guarantee, which I have uh, just recently become a client of, and uh, can't wait. And and by the way, if Andrew, if you're still listening, uh, I really appreciate your positive attitude. That's a, it's a really great thing. Um, that's real quick, as I said, real short and sweet. And um, I just want to say that. Uh, uh, you know, the other sites, there's, you, you have a lot of questions, and, and everybody that's listening, if you have a lot of questions, I just want to say match guarantee, their yeses are yes and their noes are noes. Uh, Joe might be a bit of a drill sergeant, that's okay, because he's honest, and I believe his staff is as well. And so if anything I've said here uh, resonates with you uh, that are listening, I, I would highly recommend, if you're not a client, uh, and you are interested in finding a way, somebody that you can really honestly be with, um, definitely go to uh, sign up to be a, a client with Match Guarantee. Hoorah! Thank you, Jim. Hoorah. That plug. That's very kind of you. Um, yeah, Jim has just become a client, very fresh out of the gate. Yep. Um, and we wish him good luck, of course. Um, and you know what? You inadvertently gave a great segue into Deanna. I didn't know this about you, dear, but apparently she has some scam experience of some sort. She was just talking to Anna on the phone and Anna said, why don't you have Deanna? And she has this experience and she wants to talk. And Deanna is um, being a real trooper. She was very nervous, of course, of coming on live. It's her first time, uh, but she just jumped in. Uh, like my wife, you know, my uh, Anna has this, um, she has this commitment to herself, my wife, Anna, that she will never turn an opportunity down. And when she told me this, I went, are you like, that's for real? Like you're serious? She says, yep. And I've never seen an opportunity, her turn an opportunity down, even though she's scared shitless, like she won't say no to an opportunity. So I think Deanna has a little bit of that in common. So um, I've asked everybody in chat. Thank you, Jim, to please vote for Jim now. Um, but you're, uh, this is a good time to clarify, actually, because with all the excitement and 
1,000 or 100 visual effects and pictures. I have forgot to mention that, um, and it's pretty obvious, but anyone that's either a client already can't win because they're a client already, um, or if anybody has, uh, that's doing their um, scam story and if they've already done or started their complimentary introductory package, they are disqualified. So, but nobody, nobody is other than you, Jim, and you're already a client. So, but I, I just uh, wanted to say that because we will probably do this next month. It looks like yeah. this is pretty popular. So um, before we pull Diana in to uh, give us her deep, dark secret into, I don't know, <laughs> scam agencies. I don't know what her past is. Even I don't know. Um, any any words, pearls of wisdom, Jim, um, for the guy that's maybe, maybe for the guy that's caught up, if you can recall, at that stage where you're believing or you have a smidgen of belief, even though your spidey senses are tingling, how do you get out? How do you finally cut that emotional thread with this girl that you think might be you know, the one. Sure. Or sure. My- uh, there's two things. Uh, one, um, ask her in a letter if she would be interested in communicating outside of the site. If her, if her answer is no, you know, there, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The second part of that is look yourself in the mirror and just say, am I lying to myself? And let yourself tell you what is really happening. And you'll be really surprised to find that you kind of knew that already. You kind of had that in your, in your, in your gut. And um, you just needed someone to kind of look at you. And if you don't have anybody that's going to tell you straight away, like you, Joe, that would say, Hey, look, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. um, Look yourself in the eye. That's all. It's real simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great advice. I hope that was wise. (laughs) Yeah, no, of course it was wise. Very wise. Very wise. Um, I was planning on playing a, game called scammer no scammer i don't know if we'll get a chance um why don't we why don't we do since i've got so much queued up in here um why don't we do scammer uh no scammer while jim's on here okay let's is an easy one right scammer no scammer vote in chat vote in chat i mean (laughs) vote vote s for scammer or ns for no scammer I mean, guys, you've got to understand any Slavic woman that sends you a picture like that, it's a scammer because it's so anti-cultural. They're very modest, humble people. There's no way. How about this one? Scammer, no scammer. Um, And, you know, you get used to seeing these pictures after a while. And, again, very hot Botox Botox lips and everything. Um, And then inappropriate, you know, bikini shots, beauty – but and um, it's not even so much the picture of the girl. Next time I'm going to have pictures of girls and guys because where you can really tell is the photo of the guy with the girl. Okay, I'm going to dig those ones out. I didn't have time this time, but when when you see the guy and the girl together, that's when you can say very clearly it's real or it's or there's just right. no no chance it's real. So, but I'll I'll put up a few pictures. What do you guys think? of this one real or no or not real what do you guys think what do you think jim that's a tough one um i would say real yeah you're right that's uh that's a a married client jason with his uh, wife how about this one real or or scammer or not real i mean real or not real jimbo again i'm thinking that again that's a tough one um his his face is a little bit blocked out but i would say Probably not real. He looks like Richard Gere, like a spitting image of Richard yeah, Gere. Yeah, so he's another married client. How about this one? Real or not real? Not real. Married client. Really? That's amazing. <laughs> How about this one? How about this Don't one? Do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Well, real? that one looks that one looks real because I, I think we just saw the video, didn't we? Uh no, that's another one. That's uh that's oh. Steve. Steve, he's uh married last year as well client and then one more one more okay real not real real yes these were all real these are all past clients how about this one real not real i can't tell um (laughs) real not real i would say real yes real yeah those were all past clients and the thing is when you look at those and you contrast them to 
not real relationships. It's just, uh, it's glaringly obvious. That's why your advice, Jim, it's, it's, it's excellent pragmatic advice is that you got to, you, you, you got to trust yourself. You've got to be realistic. Uh, you know, so again, thanks for coming on and we will switch over to Diana now and I will what, talk what, to you. One yeah. One last thing. Sure. Everybody watching, check me out in six months and see what I create. <laughs> All right. I love it. I love the, um, I, I love the belief. The I attitude, believe. man. It's yeah. the attitude. All right. Thanks All again, right. Joe. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for coming on and sharing, Jim. Yeah.